Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. Today I've got these cute little Halloween treats. They are chocolate lollies, not just any chocolate lollies, but Marks and Spencer's chocolate lollies. And I am using the very versatile Banner Year stamp set. So as you can see, this has got Christmas, it does have Halloween, we've got bats, spiders webs, pumpkins, we've got a little Christmas hat, we've got autumnal, um, little, cute little squirrel there, um, some little bits of foliage and some fabulous sentiments for all year round. So we've got Christmas ones, Valentine's, Thanksgiving, lots. Lots. So this is one of my favourite sets for stamping my own backgrounds with these little um, images at the bottom here. So I used the spider's web on this one with black embossing powder and I've got some of that gorgeous silver metallic trim. Um, and on this one I've stamped the pumpkins, it's a two stamp, um, with pumpkin pie, obviously, and uh, with Memento Black Ink there. And I've added on some of the glittery um, black organdy ribbon there as well. So, really quick and easy to do, and they stand up quite nice and easily as well. So if you're having a little get together, you can have them all standing um, and just hand them out as and when. Um, now I have made them a lot bigger than they need to be and that's so that you could take the lolly out um, I decorate the both sides um, just in case you wanted to but I would imagine with little people they'll just get ripped apart very quickly and that's fine you can make more next time. Okay so start off with a piece of card, whichever card you uh, decide that you want to use. Um, I'm going to do my scoring first because as with this one, I wanted to make sure that the pumpkins were all facing the same way. So I want to do the scoring first and then I know which way up um, I want to do my stamping. So I'll bring in my scoring tool. You could just use your paper trimmer with a scoring blade. So this piece of card is two and a half inches by six and three quarter inches and I want to score that at half an inch, three and a quarter inches and at six inches. These dimensions will be on my blog post. There will be a link to that blog post in the description bar below, so you can just click on that um, and you'll also be able to get a list of all of the products that I've used so that you can sh shop in my Stamping Up store. So with this piece, I want them facing, uh, I'm going to use the, the bat this time and I'm going to use black heat embossing again. So I kind of want them all, the little faces, to be up this way. Yeah, it's hard to see with the Versa mark. Don't need to do too many. And just so that you can see that a bit better, I'm going to bring in the black embossing powder. Ooh, that's spooky. Put that to the side and then I can turn it around and decorate the other side of it. there and 
there's a bit of space there. Have half a bat there. Once again, just pouring on that black embossing powder. So the embossing powders now come in packs. So you can get a metallics pack and a neutrals pack and the black is obviously in the neutrals pack and in the same pack you get clear and white so I used white on um, the sentiments and I've, oh, I've pre-done the sentiments for this one as well. So let me just bring in my heat tool and get this nice and glossy. I'll put this on silent so that uh, you're not deafened by the noise. Okay, so you do lose a little bit of the definition of his cute little face, but that shine is so, so worth it. Um, make sure that it's cool and then just gently fold those score lines there, especially the ones that have got heat embossing on them. I tried to avoid it too much, but there we go. So. When I made mine, I used my old um, hole punch to simply just plunk that in the middle there and give it a, a, a squeeze. Now, it, it, it's tight for the little pop stick, but you can put it through and, and kind of just waggle it a bit and it will work. But if you don't have that, a couple of alternatives for you. You could use your piercing tool to start it off and then kind of just make that bigger um, or if you have a craft knife you could do a little slip like that and again that will help you start it off to pop that through like that. So it's not quite so neat, but you're going to be covering it with your um, ribbon anyway, so not a problem. I then want to add glue to that piece there. Get that out of the way. Just didn't want to cut into my desk. And just fold that and lining up this edge here with your folded edge there. That's a bit more tricky because of your lollipop getting in the way. But there you go. So just hold that for a moment. And that wider base gives it something to stand on. As I said earlier, I have done the sentiments. Um, this, sorry, this was basic grey card. Um, I'm going to make this the front and do my happy haunting. And I have simply just done it on some scraps of, of card and cut it to size. Add it to a piece of basic black and just trim that as well. They're nice and small, so you know it's it's not you don't have to be absolutely perfect anyway. Okay, so that can go on there somewhere, and then I can add this boo. there, Oops, off camera, sorry about that, but 
fits quite neatly in there. And just take my scissors and chop along there. Okay. You could add these on with dimensionals, um, especially if you've got the black dimensionals. So that would look good, but I'm just going to add them on with, I don't want to cover up too many of the bats. Possibly should have done that bit before. Before I glued it together at the bottom, might have been easier. And I'll just put him in the middle there. Okay, so I've got Happy Haunting. And I get my ribbon. I think I'm going to stick with this beautiful silvery ribbon. It's, it, it, it is like spider's web to me. Um, love it. I'll just chop a bit of that off. Tie that in a knot. And then, sorry, you can push your lollipop down, make sure it's at the bottom, and then it'll, it, it makes it easier to stand. That's a bit, my ribbon's a bit long, but there we go. We have three. So, um, those lollies come in a pack of ten. Um, unfortunately there's not 10 left. I had to try them out, didn't I? I hope you've enjoyed this project. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, that would be fabulous. If you're new to my channel, then please do click on the um, subscribe button and click on the bell so that you get notifications when I upload my next video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.